Hi guys. So I was in the hospital yesterday um, from about 6 a.m. to about 2 p.m. Spent quite a while there. Um, I possibly had a seizure, um, possibly a tonic, uh, or it could have been a fainting spell. I am not exactly sure. But all I remember is walking to my bed from the bathroom and then the next moment, because I had uh, went unconscious, I was on the floor face down. And uh, my mom was there because she had heard me, she had run to come because she had heard me fall. And um, I was freaking out because um, I thought something was really wrong. I was really cold, like I was freezing. I thought like I was in like the North Pole or something. I was, I, I was so cold, even though it was warm in my room. Um, but I was stressing out for the past few days because of somebody who has blamed me, put blame on me for something that they've been going through. And um, I thought that there could have been something with this person before this whole blame roller coaster happened. Um, but now, because it has continued and it hasn't ceased, I just feel like, you know, it's too tough. I've dealt with it with other people in my life that uh, don't do it anymore because they understand uh, what they have done and they have made a change to stop doing it. Um, but I feel like this person, because for whatever reason, that that is what they thrive on. Anyway, so besides the point, I spent a bunch of hours in the hospital, they did a bunch of tests. Everything appeared normal. Uh, all the tests came out normal. And, uh, yeah, I was having a pain in the pelvic area, and uh, turns out it's because it currently that time of the month it just started. And um, I've been also having pains, um, possibly because of my ovarian cyst. But, the combination of the two and also stressing out kind of elevates the pain and just makes me freak out and um, yeah so also lack of sleep because I haven't really slept well since uh, this blame roller coaster happened um, so yeah so lack of sleep and all that seizure I'm pretty sure it was a seizure because before I was freaking out that maybe it was a fainting spell that something was going on, but I'm pretty sure it was a seizure now, uh, atomic. So I have to thank my friends and my family, uh, specifically this one friend who has been there for me. He has constantly put a smile on my face no matter what, and he knows about the situation, about um, what this person has uh, he's blamed me for and you know he he is constantly my friend has constantly been there to put a smile on my face and <laughs> it feels like he will stop at nothing to put a smile on my face which I you have no idea how much I appreciate it because being in the hospital I was starting to go down this hole of self doubt and just thinking, you know, I know it's not my fault, but what if I deserve this because of all the things that happened in my life that I I have no control over, that I have never had any control over. I started to think that I deserved it. And um, thanks to him, this wonderful, amazing friend, that changed. And 
know what? If you have gone through this, having someone blame you for something you didn't do, um, because you know what? Some people, you just have to know that some people just want someone else to blame for whatever they're going through, or just to blame them for nothing, just to make up a story about them, so that they can put attention off of their own insecurities. And um, you know what? Just there are just people like that. And then again, there are people like my friend who uh, he I you know what? I consider him one of my best friends because because of this he has uh, throughout the years has honestly helped me through quite a lot. So. Um, I'm getting curious. Um, my dogs have also helped me because they come to me when I'm feeling sad and, you know, they're cute, adorable faces. It helps so much. So, knowing that I have the support is great. And if you're ever in this situation, I definitely suggest seeking out support. Somebody that you can trust. And if there is nobody around like that that you know personally, there are always helplines, somebody to talk to. And um, even online, you can always seek out somebody online that is going through the same situation as you. Because I promise you, whatever it is, you are not alone. There's always somebody out there in the world that has gone through the same thing. Come on, we have like 8 billion, 8 billion people, come on. Like, I'm pretty sure somebody in this world has gone through the same thing you have. Um, and uh, that's just something that I, through the years, I'm only 23, God, only, almost 24, but surprisingly I've gone through a lot. And learning from all of this, It's, it's kind of a weird situation because I can help my friends, give them advice on what not to do because of the stuff that I've experienced and um, there was something that I read that uh, apparently the people who have gone through the worst experience had the best advice. <laughs> Um, so I guess that's probably my situation, um, but yeah, I am very thankful today, thankful for my friends, thankful for my family, my, my, uh, furry, furry family, adorable furry family, uh, I, I don't know where I would be without them, so, thank you. And um, I think that's all I really have to say. So, have a good night. Make sure if you're epileptic, get proper sleep <laughs> because uh, <sighs> I'm still working on that. And uh, <laughs> um, it's difficult, I know, but you gotta make sure to get your proper sleep and um, stay healthy. Love you guys. If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a choice. And be sure to check out my other channel, my comedy channel, and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more last Wednesdays and Thursdays, and my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. Love you guys.